that because you've gone through so much struggle, you appreciate happiness, true happiness? Do you think that you appreciate discipline because you weren't disciplined? Do you think you appreciate the hard work you put in because you used to be weak? Don't you think that your happiness is probably elevated by the amount of pain that you've gone through? 100%. So the amount of suffering that you understand, the amount of pain that you've gone through makes you appreciate the happiness and the, the beautiful moments with much more intensity. That's what weak people miss about my story. Weak people hear this soft kid, oh my God, he must be miserable. Oh my God, what the hell is wrong with him? You're missing the fucking story. You're not listening to the story, man. Look what I overcame. If that doesn't put some badge of honor tattooed in your fucking brain for the rest of your life, you can die today talking to Joe Rogan. You're missing the story, man. Am I happy? What the fuck do you think? Don't, mis don't misunderstand the passion in which I speak for not being intensely happy. Happiest person in the world. But I'm not done. So I'm not going to speak to you like, oh, man, everything is great. No, I have a lot more shit to do. A lot more shit to do. What this is, in the same use of the word that you used, the warrior's mentality, the warrior's life. Right. This is, this is the way that you can keep balanced and sane right. and, and keep a good grip on who you are. Period. And like there's a quote that was said, I don't know who said it, but it was a great quote. This guy said, um, going into combat, going into war, out of the hundred men that go into war, ten shouldn't even fucking be there. 80 of them are just targets. 10 do most of, or nine do most of fighting. One is a warrior. And it's a true quote to life. I saw it going through training. I saw it everywhere I went. There's so many people who just show up to life that shouldn't even fucking be around. And there's few people who do all the work. I wanted to be part of that nine and I'm working towards being that one. And that's just how I live my life. Now, what are you doing with your life these days? Right now, I keep the same. I have a, I'm very routine. I get up every morning, I run, I go to the gym, and then at nighttime, I stretch out. I am um, just trying to develop a business, costing me a lot of money trying to do that. I'm just getting out. I'm, a, I'm an introvert, so I never want to get on social media. I, I'm, I'm not big on that. I'm, I'm, I'm big on being with yourself. I believe all these fucking cameras and phones and shit it, it takes you away from the most powerful thing in the world which is your fucking mind so i try hard to continue to grow that i'm, I'm trying to break a record again i'm trying to cross death valley as fast as possible top of mount whitney and um i'm constantly trying to put goals in front of me but the biggest thing is i'm trying to find more of myself and the only way i can find more is to silence the world out as much as i can because it's, it's, it's getting busier every day it's getting faster and the faster it gets the more you are missing who the fuck you are so i trap my own mind a lot and say look man i put my phone away i put shit away and i go dark i go dark a lot and it's because i have to find out i'm on a journey of life and we all have a different journey and i want to be in my fucking pine box and i believe your spirit lives forever it has to it's too fucking powerful no way in hell that thing just dies when you die i want to be able to look back on my life when i'm all dead and be so fucking proud of myself forever this is all temporary shit to me. I want to be forever proud of who I was as a man and change who I used to be. The liar, the insecure guy, the guy who can, whatever. I want to be proud. When I, if I die now, if I die at 80, if I die at 90, 100, I want to look at myself and say, proud of myself. Don't you think that also like we, what we're saying that because you've gone through so much struggle, you appreciate happiness, true happiness? Do you think that you appreciate discipline because you weren't disciplined? Do you think you appreciate the hard work you put in because you used to be weak? Yes, I appreciate self-discipline. Yes. I never had, and the crazy thing about what, you know, you say that, I didn't have a motherfucker come wake me up at three o'clock in the fucking morning and say, hey, you gotta get your shit in. I had no trainer. I didn't have a, a nutritionist. It was the self-discipline that I had to survive, to not survive, but I was weak, to, 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 to thrive. No one said, hey, man, you're 297 pounds, man. Um, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you. Hey, hey, man, you're fucking, you're not smart. I'm going I'm, I'm to help you out. I, I, I had to work at all this shit. I had to overcome and 
and it, 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 it self-disciplines everything. And if you don't have it, I, I don't look at you right because I know you're capable of more. It's not discipline so much for me. It's all on you. It's all on you. The self part is what's big. We need uh, someone to hold, hold people accountable. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit. We, we count on people too much to get us through shit. And we look to our right, we look to our left, we're looking for help. And if you can build that self, you can build that total accountability in oneself. And it's not about being selfish. I'm trying to create a better me. So hopefully people who are hearing this are taking it the right way can say, I can run a mile. It ain't about running 205 fucking miles, doing fourth, being a city. It ain't about all that shit. Shit doesn't matter. I want you to see how fucking far you can go. And that's all it's about yourself. And that's where it all comes from. Well, listen, I guarantee you've already done that. What you experienced from watching that television show and what, what got you out the door, what got you to sort of take the first steps to change your life, what you experienced by watching Rocky, what you experienced, those, those moments of inspiration, those are critical for people. They need to know that someone's done something, that someone's done something that's greater than they, what they can imagine themselves doing, and they want to take a, a step towards trying to be better. Right. That, 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 that inspiration is gigantic and sometimes it comes across as corny, you know, people read it, too much of it online, it, be, it becomes, it drowns out, you, you lose, the, the meaning gets lost, I mean, there's, and there's a lot of posers, there's a lot of people out there that are they're pretending that they're trying to offer up inspiration or a true honest account of their experiences, but really what they're trying to do is say something that's going to get likes. Right. You know, they're trying to say things that they think people are going to go, yeah, double high five. Right. You know, there's a thing that people are doing where they're just trying to just get social cred. That's it. That's yeah. what social media is, man. I'm, yeah. I'm going to paint you the picture of my fake life. Right, right, right. I paint you a picture of my fucking real life. Yeah. Period. Like it or not, man. But that that real life is fuel for people. Right. It's fuel for me. I mean, I, I, I love that shit. I live off of it. There's a lot of people that I follow online, and you're one of them, that I can get something out of that. I could watch a, a short clip of you talking. I'm sure clips of this podcast, people are going to play these clips and go for fucking crazy runs afterwards. Right. Well, I hope so. Fuck yeah, they're going to. So. You don't even have to hope. It's right. going to happen. That's good.